Hi, I'm Andy from Gellert and we're in the showroom today to show you how to set up and pack away the Horizon range of tents. Before you start, take all of the contents out of the bag and check you've got everything you need. Inside the bag you'll find the fly sheet or outer tent, the bedrooms or inner tent, one set of colour-coded multi-section fibreglass poles, some pegs and two steel king poles to use on the side or end door for a canopy if required. We'll start now by laying out the fly sheet ready to start setting the tent up. Remember on a tent this size you should always use two people. Once you've checked all the contents of the tent you then need to roll out the fly sheet and open it out flat on the floor in roughly the same position you want the final tent to be. Once you've done this, loosely peg the two corners at one end of the tent to hold the tent in position. Then we can start putting the poles through the fly sheet. Place the poles into the sleeves. On each pole there's a coloured centre section which matches the tab on the end of the sleeve. This means you get all the poles in the correct position. Always make sure you push the pole into the sleeve as if you pull it, the sections will separate and it'll get stuck. Once you've fed all the poles through the sleeves, it's then time to start creating the hoops that'll make your final tent. Begin at one end, insert the pin of one side of the tent into the pole, then gently feed the pole through the sleeve Creating the hoop, insert the pin into the metal end of the pole, then secure the fly sheet to the tent with the C-clips. Repeat this all the way down the tent. Once you've clipped all the poles into place, stand all of them up together, then starting from the end you've secured with pegs, slowly walk the tent out. As you go, make sure the fabric's pulled tight between each of the poles. When you've pulled the tent out, secure the other end with pegs. Before pegging down your tent, it's important to make sure that all the zippers on the doors are closed. This prevents the door from being put under too much tension and makes sure everything operates smoothly. We can now move on to pegging the tent. To do this, Use the webbing loops at the bottom of the tent, insert the peg through the loop, pull it tight, hold the peg at approximately 45 degrees away from the tent, then hammer it into the ground. To adjust the guy lines, hold the runner in one hand, take the line furthest away from the tent and slide the runner towards the tent. This will lengthen the guy line. Once it's pegged into place, Simply hold the runner again, take the centre string and slide the runner away from the tent to tension. Once you've finished pegging the tent and all of the guy lines, you can then put the brow pole in to create the canopy over the side door. To do this, slide the pole through the sleeve, insert the metal end into the plastic clip and then secure to the fibreglass pole. Once all of the bedrooms are in place, your horizon's ready to use. To take down your horizon tent, begin by removing the inner tents and the side brow pole over the door. Then undo all of the pegs, tie up the guy lines if you'd like to, it's a bit neater but you don't have to. You might find it helpful to leave two pegs in at each end of the tent so it stays in position. Then begin taking out the poles by removing the C-clips and pulling the pins out of the end of the pole.
Once you've done this, you're then ready to take the poles out of the tent. When you're taking the pole out of the tent, always make sure that you push it through the sleeve. Don't pull it, as this will separate the sections and the pole will get stuck. To fold up the fly sheet of the tent, first make sure it's laid out nice and flat, any loose fabrics tucked onto the top. Then fold one side into the center and repeat with the other side. Then fold the whole thing in half. Make sure you get as much air out as possible and keep the folds as neat as you can. Once you've folded the outer tent, place the two folded inner tents and the poles on top. Make sure you do this at the end of the tent without the door and roll towards the door as this will help air to get out. Then simply keep the roll as tight as possible and get as much air out as you can and roll the tent up. Once you've finished rolling, secure it with the two fabric straps and it's ready to put back into the bag. <laughs>